Hey traders, this is William and I'm going to live trade right now and I'm going to first share with you my calculator. So this calculator is really neat. Another trader made this for me. My entry is 236.31. My stop is 236.52. So I input that in and then it shares with me these risk to reward levels and I want to get a 6R on this trade because in this trade it combines with an even dollar 235 the 200 moving average on the 5 and right here it broke through that before so I think it has the power to get back down where it was an insane resistance right at the even dollar so I put it a couple cents above my limit for all or nothing at 235.05 and that'll be a 6R trade right now I'm at 5Rs and I could get out instantly if I wanted to but look the cues are dropping right now and looks weak so I think this has the chance for one more little pop down um, so this really helps me to define what I want to do and to see if my R levels are in a good place according to the specific chart that we are on. So let's remove this now. Awesome. Did I just get filled? I just got filled. So that was 6R all or nothing. And just so you can see, I got short at 236.29, 236.32. It filled me in two different times. Or I... I I entered in twice and then the stop you see was 52 52 and then my target was 235.05 which it filled okay so what was I looking at here number one I noticed that the daily chart on Facebook was strong and we know that the cues had a big gap up so now I'm going to try to go through multiple time frame alignment for such a strong gap up on the cues and for Facebook not to gap up. That shows me a sign of weakness. OK, number one. Number two, this 60 minute chart right here is incredibly bearish. This looks very, very weak, right? If anyone wants to do a 60 minute ORB down or just thinking the stock looks weak intraday that looks weak not only did it break through these pre-market all of these pre-market levels it was going to the post market end breaking through that okay so now let's look at the 15 minute chart this this was key this was very key 15 minute chart was in a clear downtrend okay and it's under the moving averages and if you can see this peekabooed this made a high above this now i don't care because at that moment this would have been engulfing like that it looked like that so traders were thinking that that was a good long and it broke the 15 minute high breaking a new 15 minute high on this candle in this 60 minute chart is worthless to me i would never take that long but to me when i saw that some traders did take it long they were trapped I loved the idea of them being trapped and when it started to come back down right here was that moment when they started to get trapped right there when I noticed that I went in short here but you can see so the 15 minute I saw that and I thought they could be trapped now on the five minute chart look how clean this is look at this this is waving up beautifully whenever it makes a new high it goes up whenever it makes a new low it goes down but this is going straight in to the resistance level okay right back into the nine on the five which is this area right here this doji where some people would have went long some people would have went short people would be trapped people might bag hold do all this stuff let's say if you long right here long on this two minute high and it goes back down Okay, and let's say you don't get out. This is the, uh, the, the, the psychology of this trade that I always think about now. If I'm a bag holder and I am lucky enough for it to come back up, if I was long and didn't stop out, what do I do here? I breathe a sigh of relief and I exit with a sell order. Okay, now we've got two minute, two minute highs without any low makes a topping tail at the 20 on the two which is at the nine on the five which is at this level which made a large topping tail right here slightly increasing volume not much but under the 50 moving average so i'm expecting this to be weak 
because of my 60 minute and my daily chart read with the cues. So I need to find a little entry to get a good risk to reward on a pullback for this setup. And that's exactly what I did here. So as soon as I saw this topping tail, right here, this is bullish, no topping tail, no topping tail, topping tail, but still, look, this is just making an A, B, C, D pattern. So I needed to go up, find that topping tail at the level, find a beautiful risk to reward, which was 20 cents on Facebook with only a two cents spread, which is awesome. Now everything is going in my favor. At the time I entered, right, right here, I wasn't making a new one minute high, but no new one minute low. On the two minute chart, I'm at the level that I marked from the five minute doji and this candle, if you're trying to be long because of this two minute high, right, right, where was it? I guess that two minute high, yeah, right there in that two minute high, exactly. Then the topping tail, then the nine on the five with beautiful waves. Find support at the 200, waves back up, can find it back down. 15 minute chart, peekaboo breakout, love it. 60 minute chart looks so weak. Without, this is key, this is multiple time frame alignment. Without this 60 minute chart, I would have never done this. You need to have multiple time frames all pointing in the same type of direction when you want to do a pullback. And to me, that is an incredibly weak 60 minute chart, not for a dump. Look, this daily chart, I'm not going to short into that daily chart on any sort of long term interval. But remember the cues, the cues did this big gap up. Facebook didn't. That is a sign of weakness. That is a sign of sellers might being a little nervous and if I can find these opportunities to take advantage of that, that's what I did here. So if you have any questions at all, please ask. Thank you so much for watching.